Hi and welcome back to my channel Debbie's World. I'm Debbie and today I'm going to show you another Slimming World recipe. So this time it's from the Slimming World Eat More For Less book and it's the Potato Bhaji Tortilla which is on page 23 of the book um, and I've been wanting to try this for quite a while. Um, so what you'll need for this recipe, it's free on the plan, vegetarian, and it serves four to six. So what you'll need is 500 grams of floury potatoes, peeled and cut into small chunks. So I've got that to do. I've got Maris Pipers here. Then we'll need some fry light for the pan, two medium onions, halved and thinly sliced, Two medium hot red chili, medium hot red chilies, de-seeded and finely chopped. Two garlic cloves, um, crushed. Three centimetre, three centimetre piece of red of fresh ginger, uh, peeled and finely grated. Now I haven't been able to find fresh ginger in two or three shops, but I happen to see this in Aldi, which is a tube of squeezy ginger, so I'm going to use that, 200 grams of frozen peas, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of garam masala, I was unable to find that so I've got some chilli powder, eight large eggs, I've just got some large free range eggs from Aldi, and three tablespoons of chopped fresh coriander. So the first thing to do is get the potatoes peeled and chopped and get them on to boil. I have a pan of boiling salted water here and I'm just going to boil my potato chunks for five minutes or until tender. While my potatoes are boiling, I'm just gonna get my onions peeled and sliced. two medium onions halved and thinly sliced. potatoes have been boiling for about six seven minutes so I'm going to drain those and leave them to one side and then I have a frying pan which you can put in the oven um, 
I've sprayed it with fry light and heated it up and I've got my chopped onions in here. And it says to add three tablespoons of water. A little bit more, I think. I'll give that a bit of a stir. So, two medium onions sliced, three tablespoons of water, and we need to cover it up and cook for 10 minutes or until soft. So, we'll just turn that down a little. And leave that cooking. While the onions are cooking, I'm just going to de-seed and chop my chilies, and also prepare my two cloves of garlic. I'm probably going to get my briefton's chopper out because both the chili and the garlic needs to be finely chopped or crushed. So in my briefton's chopper, which I got from Amazon, I've got my two red chilies and two cloves of garlic. There we go, finely chopped. Might do that a little bit more. I'm watching Instagram stories at the same time. Um, so I've prepped my pep chilies and garlic, my peas, uh, my ginger is ready. The onions are still cooking away. Uh, potatoes are still draining. So I'm gonna break eight eggs into my bowl um, and then we add some more ingredients which I'll show you. So I'm just going to break my eight eggs into this bowl. Right, so back at the frying pan with the onions. We need to turn up the heat and stir fry the onions for a few minutes until golden brown. So you need to stir fry the onions until the liquid has evaporated and the golden brown and then we need to add in the chilies, garlic, ginger and peas. So I've got my garlic and chilies in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see that? Putting in the garlic, that garlic and ginger. Then I'll stick in my 200 grams of frozen peas. And I'll put a few squirts of this squeezy ginger in. That'll be plenty. And we need to cook that for three minutes more. So I am preheating my oven to 180 degrees C, 160 for fan or gas mark 4. So that's my oven. Uh, the, the onion and pea etc mixture has been cooking for another few minutes. And now we need to add the spices. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric and it says half a tablespoon of garam masala. Now I've got my chilli powder and I don't think I'm going to add that much. I think I'm just going to add another half a tablespoon. Not quite that much. There we go. Because I think with the chillies it will already be quite spicy. So I'll stir that in and then we need to go back to the egg mixture. So back to the egg mixture we need to add, it says half a teaspoon of salt so we'll just put a good shake in there and plenty of black pepper. So I'll get 
again we'll give that a good shake and I've got my uh, coriander what does it say three tablespoons of chopped fresh coriander probably not quite that much but there's enough there and I've done it in the same in the same chopper I haven't washed it out don't sue me um, so I'm just going to scrape that into the egg mixture and it smells really fresh and lovely so there we go so in there we've got eight eggs salt and pepper and coriander and then we need to give that a good whisk Now back to the frying pan again with the onion, peas, etc. And you want to add in your drained potato. Give that another shake. Just got to pray. Oops. We just got to pray that this frying pan is going to be big enough. Just turn that up a little bit. I just want to stir that around a little bit. And then last thing to add to this pan is of course your eggs. So we'll add in the eggs. And give it another good stir. Potatoes are already breaking up. And then we want to flatten it out. And cook on the heat. A medium low heat. So I've got mine about 5 out of 10 for 5 minutes. So my tortilla has now been frying on the hob for 5 minutes. And I'm now going to pop it in the oven. And it says to cook it for 30 minutes or until the eggs are set and the top is golden brown. And here's the tortilla out of the oven. It's probably only been in about 20 minutes, but I think it's more than done. I've just run round the edges with a palette knife. But I'm just going to leave it in the pan just to cool a little bit more before I try and turn it out. But I think that looks absolutely delicious and not too far from the picture here we go then now it's cooled a little and i've sliced it i've also miscalculated the slices and took a bite out of a piece but never mind this is what it looks like inside and i've had a little bite and it tastes delicious and i think it's going to be really filling and i am going to be freezing those even though it doesn't say freezer friendly just because i It'll only be me that's eating this and I don't want to be eating it all week. So I'm going to freeze some of those pieces. And this is my lunch. I've got a big green salad with tomatoes, cucumber, peppers and spinach. I've got two slices of the tortilla. I've got some mint yoghurt raita, which is just fat-free Greek yoghurt with fresh mint chopped up. And I've got some of the crucials mango and chilli chutney which is half a sin a tablespoon so there you go that is my potato bhaji tortilla from page 23 of the slimming world eat well for less recipe book thank you for watching